Let me show you the perfect way to resize your DV Loitry photo using Adobe Photoshop. I will be using Photoshop 2022, but you can use any other versions to follow along. We will be following these instructions to resize our photo. The size should be at least 600 by 600 pixel. That is a square image. And also make sure your head should fall between 300 pixel to 414 pixel. That is from the top of your head to your chin. And also from your eyes right down to your chest, the size should fall between 336 pixel to 414 pixel. And also your photo resolution should be 300 dpi, that is touch per inch. It should be an sRGB color mode. You can also use the photo tool on your phone to resize your photos. You can also use the photo tool on your desktop to resize your photos. But I think Photoshop is the best way to go. Let's dive in. To begin, go to File, go to New, that is Control N, set your resolution or your photo dimension, 600 pixel. If you can't find pixel here, click on this drop menu and you select pixel among. Set the resolution to pixel per inch just open and select pixel per inch let's go to create a new document to check your document size or otherwise called canvas size go to image go to canvas size 600 by 600 pixel is what we choose select the photo you want to resize go to file go to place embedded Select the photo. I provided the link in the description so you can download and follow along. Go to place. Here you should resize the photo accordingly. You can hold down Alt and Shift so that when resizing it, it doesn't crop the image from one side or it doesn't twist the image. On other Photoshop versions, holding just Alt will do the job. Let me press enter for now. Also, you have to make sure your head is looking directly into the camera and your head as from your nose should be centered. So to do that, go to view, go to new guide and set this to 50%. 50% it should be vertical like this this guy is at the middle of my photo and that means this person is not at the middle so you can just do like this also make sure the eyes fall on the same line like this person I can decide to resize the photo slightly by turning it from this angle by rotating it slightly like this then i hit enter but from here there is a problem i will resize it a little alt shift and then i fill that gap i press enter and i bring back this photo to the center go to new layer Select your rectangle tool or you press U. Draw it like this from the head to the chin. That is from the top of your head to the chin. This menu will pop up. If it doesn't pop up, go to Windows and make sure your properties menu is checked. From here, you can easily control the height of this tool. Looking at the height here, you see it falls at 312 pixel which is exactly what we want or it is within the range that we want let me drag it you see how it is increasing here so we need as from 300 between 300 to 414 here i have 320 which is okay i will also create another rectangle 
from the eyes right down to the bottom like this and this menu will still pop up this one is 378 pixel which falls within that range my photo is ready to go but i will choose to zoom this photo a little i will select this photo Control t alt shift and zoom it a little like this now the size here also matters i will increase it a little to make sure it falls within the requirement as you can see this way i will increase it slightly so that is it, it is 347 pixel which is within the range this one i will also increase the size if you want it let me add a bit of contrast go to the adjustment layer select levels push this slider slightly from where the curve starts to move up i think that is fine and you close it now we are ready to go how do we save this photo so that it meets the gv2024 photo requirement that is the dimensions and everything go to file go to save a copy if you use export as let me show you export as here make sure you choose jpeg and the dimension will be listed here the photo quality here is 100 percent you can reduce it if you want but make sure you don't lose the quality use the maximum quality the width is 600 600 and so on convert to srgb yes go to export choose where you want to save this photo for now let me save under the download and i will put the gv let me put gv 20 24 and save it now our document has been saved gv 2024 this is it let us check to see if it meets the requirements right click go to show more options if you are using windows 11 if you are using windows 10 properties will be right below so go to show more options and go down click on properties and choose details as you can see the dimension 600 by 600 pixel but the horizontal and the vertical resolutions are not 300 dpi because we only have 96 dpi the bit depth is 24 which is okay so how do we get that 300 dpi on older versions of photoshop maintains the right resolution when exporting or when saving your photos but with these new versions if you are using export as it doesn't give you the resolution that you choose in your document so how do you save to get the right resolution go to file go to save a copy save on your computer yes I go to download and here choose jpeg choose jpeg and go to save here the quality is maximum which is good go to ok right click go to properties go to details and right below you can see the horizontal resolution is 300 dpi the vertical is 300 dpi and the bit depth is 24 the color representation is srgb that is exactly what is recommended for the gv2024 diversity program if you enjoy watching this video don't forget to like it don't forget to comment don't forget to share and if you are not already a subscriber please click on that subscribe button. I will see you in the next tutorial.